kiosk forms an intention. The intention is mental image. of the approaching surface of the water, plummeting ever downward, having fallen through the bottom, come back out the top, and kept falling. In this intention, the surface of the water begins to rotate, opens up, a vortex like a tunnel straight down, bottomless. The kiosk sees itself Traveling down faster and faster, the realization that this is not a physical place, this is a metaphysical place. This is a real setting that nonetheless exists only in imagination. And as such, the rules of physics do not strictly apply. Faster and faster, the kiosk plummets downward, and just at the point where the surface would be as the kiosk goes down into the gaping maw of this vortex of void, it exceeds the speed of light and moves ever downward while traveling backward through time. The maw closes, the vortex subsides. The surface returns to normal. The kiosk continues After enormous amounts of subjective time, the kiosk finds itself once again falling in the sky, entering an atmosphere This time, there is ground. This time, on this alignment, happens to be pointed at the ground and not the water. And achieving a slower rate of speed, terminal velocity in an atmosphere of an environment, the kiosk nears the surface and its automatic beginner's luck kicks in and it misses the ground completely, sidestepping an entire planet. No longer falling, the kiosk is now flying. 